Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Jelson here and today we're back at it with a brand new NBA video and in today's video we're going to be talking about something a little different on the channel and I'm going to be presenting four NBA teams this season and we're going to be going over what team do I think is the best team in the NBA right now and before we hop into this video let me know down in the comments who you think my opinion is and what's your opinion? Who do you think is the best team in the NBA? I'd love to hear it from you guys. So let's hop right into this thing. So as I said at the start, I'm presenting four teams and we'll start from the bottom in my personal opinion. We have the Miami Heat here. Their top scorer this year is Jimmy Butler. Their average points per game is only 109.8, which isn't great, but it's not like the worst in the NBA. Like it's above average, but it's not bad by any means. It's not great. 109.8, as I said, and it's actually 107.8 in the last five games. So they're kind of trending in the downward spiral, the downward direction that we don't really want them to go in. If you're, especially if you're a Miami Heat fan, you don't want them to go down that uh, angle where it's like, okay, we're just going to get worse offensively, especially a team where you're full of, you know, there's some young players, but there's a lot of old players too. So it's like, you know, what's going to go on here. You have Jimmy Butler, you have Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, Bam Adebayo, those guys, great players. But I don't know if they can string together wins, especially so early into the season. They're 11 and 6, and we'll see if they can string together wins. They're actually 5 and 5 in their last 10, which is not great, but obviously it's 500, so it's not bad. And their offensive rank is 7 in the league, and their defensive rank is 4. So actually, it's not bad. They're above average in both categories, as good teams are. If they're even on this list, if your team is on this list, I don't like you're the best of the best you're a top four team in the nba in my personal opinion and so me saying that the heat are the worst out of these teams in my opinion is like not a shot at them at all you're a top four team like you know so don't don't come triggered at me in the comments that your favorite team is number four or number three or not number one or maybe not even on this list because we're so early into the season that in reality this whole table this whole list could change in the matter of literally 10 games 20 games it all can change we're so early into the season so take this all with a grain of salt now i want to bring up the second team on this list so the third best team in my opinion and this is the chicago bulls obviously in the offseason they made a few acquisitions with demar derozan and alex caruso and you know People thought, you know, this DeMar DeRozan signing, it's either going to be great or it's going to be terrible. I felt like a lot of people didn't like the signing, which didn't really make much sense to me, but a lot of people didn't like it. And guess what? Their top scorer this year is DeMar DeRozan. They're 12 and 5 on the year, and they've made my list their top three best team in the NBA, which is crazy. You know, Alex Caruso, great playmaker, also a great defender. DeMar DeRozan coming in, it's like, oh, okay, like, you know, he's been kind of okay with the Spurs past couple years, like not the best by any means in his career. But, you know, with the Spurs, he was all right. Coming in now, he's having a career year, averaging close to 28 points per game. Actually, sorry, close to 27 points per game, just above Zach Levine. And we know what Zach Levine does. Zach Levine is an absolute star, superstar, especially on the offensive end. And this year, we've seen his defense intensity wrap up a little bit and getting better. And their average points per game this year is 108.8, which is good. Like, that's very solid. Um, it's not as good, not quite as good, obviously, as the Heat, but it's good. As I said, with the Heat, you know, it's above average. It's not bad, but it's not the best in the league. In the last five games, it's been 110.2, which is great. That's literally, you know, a solid 3.2, or excuse me, 2.2, um, points ahead of the heat which is you know fantastic now going into the average points per game against or for the other team um it's 103.6 which is actually pretty solid like i mean it's very very solid and it's been 103.2 in the last five so i mean technically it's going down but in reality I don't, I mean, I don't really count it. If, if I see anything drastic the next couple games or maybe the next 10 games, then I'll, you know, talk about it, how the defense is going downhill. But literally a difference of 0.4 is not much in my opinion. 
and their offensive rank is 11th in the league so once again above average and their defensive rank is eight so you know you're in the top 10 there defensively a team last year that struggled on that side of the ball especially with zach levine you know trying to take on all the offensive load and not really having the chance to really focus in on the defense which this year zach levine looks like a much better defender and i don't know if that's been because he's worked on it in the offseason or it's because of you know his offensive load being taken off so he has more you know more of a chance to really to put some energy on the defensive end and i think it's a mix of both to be honest but in their last 10 they're six and four they're 12 and five on the year one game above the heat or sorry i guess two games above the heat so i mean hey guess what bulls are a very good team that demar Derozan signing fantastic signing like i don't understand how people thought it was going to be bad i i love the signing obviously it's a little bit of money for a guy that was aging but you see him now he's having a career year with the bulls and the bulls are having one of their best seasons in a very long time since the derrick rose era honestly and that's something i love to see obviously i'm not a bulls fan but i always root for the bulls because i really i love their players i love zach levine and i just love their core that they got so you know big ups to the bulls we love the bulls and I'm just so happy to see them on this list and playing very well. Now, my second best team in the league, um, obviously my personal opinion, as I said, is the Phoenix Suns. They're actually 13 and three on the year, and they actually had a rocky start. They were one and three to start the year, I believe, some along those lines, or maybe it was two and three, something like that. And it was kind of bad. Actually, not even kind of, it was really bad. Like it felt like there was just something missing. DeAndre Ayton, it seems like every year he comes out slow, which I was talking to my friend, it's kind of an issue, but right now, obviously, coming back, I know DeAndre Ayton was injured a little bit, and now he's coming back again, and they're playing at an elite level like we all expected them to, especially last year after making the finals. They have an average points per game for them at 111.6, which is actually fantastic. Ranks fourth in the league, actually 111.4 in the last five, which is obviously slightly worse but just like I said, for the Bulls defense, I'm not freaking out about it. It's not much of a change, not much to go over there. Obviously, five games is such a small sample size that it can adjust. And their average points per game against, so the team that they're facing scores an average of 104.4, which is actually ranked nine in the league, just below the Bulls and a little bit below the Heat. Obviously, the Heat being ranked four, as I said earlier in the video. But the Suns kind of make that up there for me. They go up on the list, in my opinion, because their last 10 games, actually, I could throw this up there, their last 11 games, they're 11 and up. Fantastic. And they've had some solid competition playing against, but their defense has been astounding. I want to bring this up. 96.8 points per game for the other team in the last five games. That's crazy good defense. We're talking possibly the defensive rank of one even if they you know obviously they're not going to keep this 96.8 points per game in the last five you know you're not going to keep that steady because that's insane that's great defense but even if you you know bring that 104.4 down to about 100 or 101 you're in the elite of elite defensive we're talking one to two range depending on how the season ends and it probably won't go down to 101 but if it ends up doing that then hey, you're probably set to go and you're probably making a deep playoff push, especially with that kind of defense. So that's something we love to see for the Suns. Obviously, I'm not a hater of the Suns, man. I joke around with the Suns. You know, all oh, you had injuries. That's why you made the finals. No, they're a great team. Phoenix Suns proving that this year once again. Not like they didn't prove it last year, but they're proving it once again this year. And Devin Booker, their top scorer, is just going crazy and something we love to see man Devin Booker big ups to him we love Devin Booker now before I get into this number one best team in the league in my personal opinion I wanted to announce that I have a very special podcast coming up tomorrow extremely excited for this so make sure to tune in once that gets posted it should be posted around seven o'clock tomorrow night and if it's not posted around there it'll probably be posted about noon the next day so Without further ado, my number one team in the NBA, actually probably isn't a surprise to you, is the Golden State Warriors. And 
In a previous video that I made predicting the Western Conference standings, I had the Warriors being the number one team. People thought I was being, you know, generous there. Like, oh, they're, you know, probably going to be the seventh seed. No, I thought they were going to be the number one seed in the Western Conference. And right now, they're the number one seed in the NBA, plain and simple. And obviously, their top scorer is Steph Curry. Man, it's the MVP front runner. Man, is an absolute manimal. So good. Stephen Curry is fantastic, really bringing back to the MVP seasons that we've seen in the past. And right now, their team, not just Steph Curry, but their whole team is playing good. Jordan Poole stepping up. You know, Draymond Green kind of returning to his old self. You know, they don't even have James Wiseman or Klay Thompson back. They have an average points per game that they score at 114.2 and 109.2 in the last five. Obviously, that's a bigger jump than the Suns' offensive rating. But what, we can say, what can we say? They're the number one seed. They're 9-1 and one in the past 10 games. What, what do you want me to say? That, okay, their you know, offense is going to suck now because it's gone down a little bit in the past five games. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that because you know what it is? It's the Warriors, man. You can never sleep on the Warriors. I've always said this. And Steph Curry, especially when Klay Thompson comes back, 109.2 may end up being literally 117 in that range. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. And they're actually ranked number one in offense. Big shocker. 114.2. That's a huge, huge number. That's massive. I mean, reasonably, it's not exactly close to anyone below them. And the Warriors have just been putting up buckets after buckets after buckets. And, you know, it's not like they've been playing bad defense either. They've actually been playing fantastic defense. Average points per game that the other team scores is 101.1 and 100 in the last five, which actually makes them the best defensive team in the league rating wise. And obviously, when you have the best defense and the best offense, guess what? You're probably the best team in the NBA. And if you're not, then really, that doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? So they're 9-1 in the last 10, as I said, but 15-2 and two on the season. Steph Curry playing like an MVP level. Don't even have Klay Thompson or James Wiseman back. So this is absolutely crazy for them. Once those two players come back, their offensive rating should only go up. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. That has been my top four NBA teams. Me deciding what the best team in the league is. And let me know down in the comments. What do you think about my list? What do you think? Who do you think is the best team? Let me know as I said in the start of the video. Remember to like, subscribe. It's been your boy Jelson. New videos coming out very frequently. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, see you guys next time. Peace out.